everybody, hope you're well. So this video is requested by RSFS and this I'm going to be talking about the little green or red plus and minuses and also the equal signs in the rankings and this can be any ranking on the game whether it's horses or general or trophies or creation space. So I'm going to talk a little bit about them. So if you've ever been on the general ranking or any other of those you'll sometimes see these and this means that the equal signs means that a player has stayed at this ranking from the last update. So if we have a look here, it says the general ranking shows the top players based on recent performances. It changes a lot, but it's never unattainable. It was last, it is updated once a day, and the last update was on the 26th of April 2016. So what this means is whenever this updated on the 26th of April, that this player's ranking didn't change from the day before. If it was a horse, that would mean that the horse's ranking haven't changed from the day before, and I'll show you in a couple of other places. So let's have a look at um, the best breeders, for example. So let's have a look here, because this is a little bit more colourful. So whenever you see a plus with in green, this means that the person went up. So this was something that they increased from the day before. So we can see that this player went up by three spaces since yesterday. We can see that this player stayed the same. We can see that these players went down by two spaces. So the minus with a red colour means you've gone down and the green means you've gone up. And the equal sign means there's been no change. So this is what the, the numbers mean. So if we have a look at some horses, let's, or even if we go and look at the question centres, you can see this as well. So you can see that this EC went up by four. Here's one that went up by over 8,337 spaces. So it's basically the up and down of the game. So you can see the changes. And it's quite handy because if you want to see how many spaces you went up since yesterday, it's very um, you know, useful to see. So if I just quickly go to my presentation page, you can have the rankings box. And if I add the rankings box to my page, you can see um, where you've gone up and where you've gone down. So I can add more. So you, for example, if we want to display all of it, I can see where there's been no change. I can see where I'm unranked. So maybe I haven't done anything. To, like if I haven't got any resets, then I'm not going to be ranked at all. Um, because I haven't got a classical EC, I'm completely unranked for these. And then you've got the numbers. So you can see where I've gone up and down and where I've stayed the same. So it's just um, a very handy way of being able to sort of keep track of your game, your progress, other people's progress, and maybe your horse's own progress. So if we go and look at some of the best horses, let's just go for genetics and um, let's click on Connie's for example. You can see where um, horses have been newly introduced. So if we, I'm just going to open this up a little bit more. So you can see that these were new newborns, okay? So this means these were horses that didn't exist yesterday. That's why there's nothing there. And then you've got all these numbers because there was eight new horses that were born yesterday. Um, that were greater in genetic than these ones. So these all moved down by eight spaces. So that's kind of how it works. I'm going to see if I can just have a look at general skills because this will maybe be a wee bit more colourful. So for example, we can see here that this horse didn't move. This one went up by 28. These all went down by one and one of them didn't change. Um, so it's just something you can kind of like take notice of. And um, it's, it's quite an, a, a nice way to be able to keep on track of things because if you see that your horse dropped 20 places then you can be like, oh my horse has dropped 20 places. So it's just something that's very useful there to see and to sort of keep track of your progress and other people's progress. So thank you to our RSFS for the rest of the video. I hope you said a little bit.